technical and vocational skills are necessary building blocks for the development of any economy. As a national strategy, skills acquisition easily becomes an effective tool for human resource development required for speedy industrialization. Interestingly, Nigeria is blessed with vibrant youths eager for constructive engagements that would help curb joblessness, poverty, hunger and crime in the society. Over the last 50 years, technical and vocational education has evolved from the non-formal apprenticeship program to a more sophisticated formal training in skills acquisition. As individual and institutional interest in technical and vocational skills acquisition grew, government realized the need to set up a bigger umbrella organization for manpower training and development in Nigeria. This led to the establishment of the Industrial Training Fund, ITF. The fund's strategic operations were drawn from its direct training interventions and collaborations with the organized private sector and international agencies. In spite of this development, the demand for skilled technicians continued to grow, resulting to a skills gap. We lack skilled manpower in virtually every area of our human life in Nigeria. And because of this, we are importing basic skills of plumbers, electricians. In order to bridge the technical skills gap, skills training centers in Lagos and Kano were set up. For about three decades, these centers have been providing improved training standards and ensuring that the right kinds of skills needed by the local industries are available. Follow up to these remarkable achievements in skill acquisition and job creation, ITF established the Models Skills Training Center, MSTC, in Abuja. The MSTC is a world-class vocational and technical training center. The design and setup of the MSTC was challenging. The MSTC was designed as a module for technical skills acquisition that will meet the need of government's economic transformation agenda. With this in mind, ITF shopped abroad for an adaptable model and found the Institute of Technical Education, ITE, of Singapore suitable. After a few visits, uh, we then started to formulate a plan, a plan that uh, in our judgment uh, will identify the kind of skills that you need and also to provide a plan for uh, uh, development, uh, a way in which we can help to, uh, to transfer and share our knowledge and technology. In collaboration with the ITE of Singapore, ITF completed the technical and structural setup of the MSTC for commissioning in 2011. It is indeed with great pleasure that I am here with you today to commission the Model Skills Training Center of the Industrial Training Fund. ITF has embarked on this establishment of skills training centers arising from identified skills gaps in the country. Working together with the ITE Singapore, the MSTC recently matriculated about 80 trainees. It is estimated that the centre, when in full operation, will have a workforce of about 300 instructors, technicians and support staff and provide vocational skills training to 500 unemployed youths biannually in the following trade areas. Facility maintenance technology, electronics and computer networking, information and communication technology, mechatronics and culinary skills. The MSTC's syllabus is a two-year program structured in four semesters and exposes trainees to high skills competence level and maximum practical experience. The courses are designed to cover relevant modules of modern techniques in engineering craftsmanship. The modules include workshop practices such as pipe installation, electrical services, fire safety and protection systems, and computer-aided design in facility maintenance technology. 
ITF's emphasis on professional and technical development of vocational and industrial skills deploys well-trained instructors with first-class training equipment to provide purposeful, plan and systematic training. With similar structure of hands-on, hearts-on and minds-on of the ITE Singapore, the MSTC Abuja aligns its training with the demands of the industry. This model is now Nigeria's international benchmark for qualitative and diversified skills training. Our education system is based on a minds-on, hands-on and hearts-on. So we not only train them in the skill, we also train them to have the heart for the community and also to use their thinking faculty, uh, how to analyse and also to uh, think of a solution to a particular problem. The effective engagement of youths through technical and vocational skills acquisition by the ITF is the outcome of visionary and strategic contribution to national development. Prior to the MSTC, ITF established the Industrial Skills Training Centers, ISTCs in Ikeja and Kano. The center in Lagos has fully equipped workshops in similar trade areas with the MSTC Abuja. In addition, the ultra-modern mechatronics and automobile maintenance and repairs workshops in Kano are at various stages of completion. The development of ISTC Lokoja is in progress. The Center of Excellence in Jos is near completion. These two new additions to the ISTC chain are indicative of government's intention and commitment to broaden technical education nationwide. Between 2005 and 2010, the ISTCs in Lagos and Kano collectively turned out 392 graduates in seven long-term trade areas. In the same period, it implemented 233 scheduled and unscheduled programs for 781 companies in which 2,220 trainees participated. A few years ago, Aranju Oluagbamila was an unemployed business administration graduate with interest in hands-on trade. His awareness and interest in the ISTC's Information and Communication Technology course became the turning point of a lifetime when he graduated from the center in 2008. Now Aranju is self-employed, running his own ICT firm with five workers under his payroll. The ISTC's has made some modest achievements by partnering with some companies on corporate-sponsored vocational training program. Right now we have a group of uh, graduate engineers from Dangote as part of our collaboration with the uh, industries. In the second phase of ITF's mandate to replicate the international standard of the MSTC nationwide, it is estimated that the establishment of these ISTCs and the acquisition of some mobile training workshops would lead to the provision of over 60,000 jobs annually. The government is going to support ITF to establish 37 additional skills acquisition centers in this country and thereby uh, giving room for all the states in the federation to have one. Beyond equipment and also building, you need the, the focus should be on people, the competency of the people, of the staff, the trainer and the leadership. As the driving force of economic growth and social development, this technical and vocational pool of skilled manpower, alongside with other associated infrastructure like electricity, potable water, good roads, security and good leadership, will collectively reposition Nigeria to achieve the industrial growth of a first-class top 20 economy.